Camera bag is ready to go. Cards are cleared, sensors are cleaned, lenses are cleaned, everything's charged. Okay, conditions at uh, Fort Davis are mostly clear. We've got a high of 92, cooling off pretty quick into the 80s for sunset. Much nicer conditions down that way. If we go to uh, Guadalupe Peak, we're gonna be in conditions of 100 degrees waiting till sunset, and then it cooling off to into the 80s after 9 p.m. But we've, uh, we'll be there 95. We've got intermittent clouds, partly cloudy, partly cloudy, partly cloudy conditions out of Guadalupe Peak. Whereas um, Fort Davis shows mostly clear right now uh, for those times. I was really hoping to get up to Guadalupe Peak for this, but looking at these maps, we're safer going to Fort Davis. Okay, I'm all packed, ready to go. This is all going to get into Daniel's Kia. Hope he's brought enough room. You all fit? Huh? You all fit? Yeah. <laughs> See the load? No. <laughs> I don't know. Fits. I don't know if we can all get it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we can pull the seats down. I just do. The cooler is just the food. That's obvious. That's what that is. Two chairs and, and I got uh, telescope support stuff and just some basic overnight stuff. Um, I was thinking maybe some garbage bags and put some weight in them in case it's windy. Um, Wait down the tripod. You, you already got it. Yeah, I'll put that next to Because I have sandbags and I totally forgot to bring them. I've got, yeah, we've got some garbage bags right there. Okay. Right now, it's looking like um, Fort Davis. Guadalupe Peak is 10 degrees hotter and has a cloud forecast, and Fort Davis is forecasting mostly clear. On what? On, on AccuWeather. AccuWeather. On AccuWeather, because on, on weather.com it's not bad. <laughs> really? It's opposite. The opposite? Yeah. We'll get out there and see. We'll see. <laughs> aren't looking very promising for us right now. We're going to uh, be under them here in a little bit and see, see what they're going to do for us. We have two locations, north and south, but both of them are going to be covered by something. Uh, what do you think, Daniel? It's, uh, we'll figure it out. We're gonna stop up here at our turning turning point, discuss it, and see what we find. on Fort Davis or in this general area I should say um, the system's moving south and away and we think it should clear up by uh, 9 10 o'clock and we're hoping it'll be clear enough by 10 to get the Comet Neo wise but otherwise hopefully we get some uh, good Milky Way photography and it should be clear toward Andromeda tonight
right now. Um, Daniel's ahead of me. We're doing some drone footage. The ridge is right behind me. I'm pretty much going to decide to shoot right there tonight behind us. That's the plan. Let's see what we get. We'll catch up to Daniel on the trail. Carry the tripod. No strap. Backpack's full. Daniel's got his bag full. See how it goes. At least to make a trek up there real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not moving, huh? It's coming back. Oh, it's coming back. That's the clouds from the north. Remember, we were like there circling. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah, I'm committed to going to the top. What do you mean, Zay? So, yeah, well, I'm, I'm walking, man. That's, that's an activity for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm committed to the top because uh, yeah, I landed the drone up on top with a dead battery and I'm not sure how it landed because it, I lost the feet about two feet from the ground. So we're going to go find it. Actually, the second time we've hiked this today. First time was a dry run with no gear, and now we're doing it again. On our way to the top of the ridge, to see nothing but clouds. Perfect landing on the center of the trail. No video feed. Oh, I gotta catch my breath now. So it's about a half mile hike up a couple switchbacks here to the top of this little ridge. Nothing hard, but we just ate a big, massive dinner down down below and had a uh, had a big bottle of Gatorade. I'm sweating it out. <laughs> um, so the plan is to shoot somewhere up here. We got a couple spots picked out on this ridge that we want to try to shoot at, try to get the comet. The bad news is. Cloud weather. Bad news is that uh, we're kind of been right in the front of this system that's circulating over our two locations we picked. So might come down to a second shoot date to try to get uh, try to get the comet. I still got another whole week to shoot to try to get it and. Uh, if I can, uh, if I can head out to like Guadalupe Peak or somewhere around there, hopefully it's clear next week. We can go out Friday night after work, try to get it, and get back home. Tonight we're gonna be up here till probably I don't know. The clouds will depend on that, but I think we're planning for about midnight to get back to the car and drive back home, three hours. And we gotta hike off this mountain still, or this little hill. It's our mountains out here. <laughs> What, three quarter mile up? Probably, yeah, about three quarter mile. Yeah. Three quarter mile up here to the top of this little peak, or a little nub, call it a peak. We're from West Texas now, it's a peak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm soaked, thoroughly. clouds but there's a ray of hope I'm pretty sure that's about where the comet's gonna be and it's peeking through so we'll see what we get we got about an hour before it peaks at the top height of darkness and then it'll start setting I don't know how much time we're gonna have in those clouds I don't know how much time we're gonna have in those clouds to get it but we're gonna try Clouds ain't looking good, man. Not even south. Not even north, northeast either.
probably a perfect epic out there right now. Sunset. <laughs> I honestly I don't see it getting better, Daniel. They're not they're not moving. I mean they are, but they're not moving where they need to go. So I get out to the highway and see how it looks out there. Or get out of the car and drive out the highway, put it that way. Because I don't think, I mean, this is all haze right here. I mean, it may burn off. stars and I ain't getting the shot I want to get bottom line yeah it's not gonna happen I don't think I mean even a Milky Way shot's gonna be it may pull through but I mean I'm not gonna wait up till 11 just for that I'd rather go try to get a clearer sky somewhere else but I mean we can at least get out to 10 and just see evaluate see how it looks All right, we decided to go ahead and stay and uh, go ahead and just set up. We have a sliver of light there behind me that's in the general area of the comet. There's a chance it'll be above those clouds. It's unlikely, but we're gonna go ahead and just try since we're up here. It's already dark and see see how how it goes. Uh, this will be the this will be the last vlog up here on the the hill. Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll update you along the way. We waited up on the hill for over an hour. We set up our cameras and made sure they were ready, waiting for the last of the blue glow to turn to dark. The stars started to show through, but we still couldn't see Neowise. The clouds have never been more stagnant than tonight, right where we needed to see Neowise. Looking east was clear, we could see Jupiter without a cloud in sight. The Milky Way started to show through, but the clouds were still overhead, blocking most of the view. As it got darker, the clouds started to dissipate. However, they were still rolling in right overhead. We knew they would have a starring role in tonight's plans. With our wide angle lenses pointing to the northwest, taking test shots, I hear Daniel say, I got it. And there it is, giving us a very short window to capture it. Our excitement grew and we got to work taking our photographs. Clicking away, changing our lenses, image after image, all the while we were racing the clock. What should have been an hour was only about 20 minutes, and it was gone. The clouds not wanting to give up the spotlight anymore. This is my Neowise photograph, a 20 image stack. It may not be the best photograph of Neowise, but it is my image. This comet showed up to brighten this year. It gave people hope. It allowed us a reason to get out and do something together without being together. I am happy and fortunate to have the opportunity to capture this moment in time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.